Our top story this hour, the United States has now imposed sanctions on six Chinese officials in response to the crackdown on pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong. The U.S. has announced the sanctions on officials blaming them from for implementing the national security law following the mass arrest of pro-democracy activists this month. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said that those targeted with sanctions include Yu Kwan, Vice Chairman of Beijing's central leading group on Hong Kong and Gao Fez, and Asin Quinge, a Deputy Director of Hong Kong's National Security Office. Pompeo said that all were associated with developing, adopting or implementing the national security law. And Hong Kong police arrested 53 people on January 5th in the biggest crackdown on the democracy movement since China last year imposed the law. And the arrest marked the latest escalation in an effort by China enabled by the pro-Beijing government in Hong Kong to snuff out the pro-democracy movement in the former British colony. The sanctions are the latest in a string of actions that President Donald Trump has taken against China in his final week in office. And several of the arrest ac arrested activists have former lawmakers who had resigned after four colleagues were disqualified in connection with the security law. The action comes less than a week before Trump leaves office to be succeeded by Democrat Joe Biden. It was the latest in a series of steps targeting China, which analysts see as a bid driven by Pompeo to lock in a tough approach to Beijing. And Phoebe Kong, DW East Asia correspondent, is now joining us from Hong Kong. Thank you so much for joining us. The United States has imposed these sanctions on six Chinese officials in response to the crackdown. Now, what can you tell us about the practical implications of these sanctions? Firstly, well, this is not the first round of uh, sanctions of uh, come from the U.S. Uh, targeting the, uh, the Hong Kong and Chinese officials with regard. Um, to the um, the Hong Kong related situation and also the national security. So this is um, at least a third round of uh, sanctions, as far as I do remember. So um, so far uh, up to now, over thousands of our uh, Hong Kong and also Chinese officials uh, responsible for Hong Kong affairs have been sanctioned. So um, these officials will be um, banned from um, making uh, transactions with the U.S. Uh, financial entities and uh, banks and so on. And um, also, um, like um, six of them were the latest to be sanctions. Uh, um, two of them are the Chinese officials uh, responsible for Hong Kong affairs, and three of them uh, come from the police force, who are uh, senior um, officers in the police force uh, responsible for uh, carrying out and enforcing the national security law. And also, one um, Hong Kong delegate to the National People's Congress in Beijing, which is the Chinese top legislature responsible for passing the national security law. So um, they will now face the, uh, the, the, the financial like hurdles when um, like um, dealing with U.S. So basically, uh, we expect that the, um, most of the U.S. banks mm. and also um, most of the non-U.S. banks will um, may uh, cancel the bank accounts of these um, like um, persons. Also, how do you see the situation unfolding now? What kind of a reaction can we expect from Beijing? Yeah, um, so far um, there is no reaction from Beijing um, like until now, but uh, the Hong Kong um, SAR government has already issued response to uh, U.S. sanction with strong uh, verbal uh, criticism and uh, denouncing the U.S. sanction as um, what they call insane, uh, shameless and capable foreign interference. And Carrie Lam, Hong Kong leader who has earlier uh, been already been sanctioned by the U.S. administration uh, that she will not be intimidated by the U.S. sanctions. And um, also we see like um, strong uh, strong criticism from the police force and also um, some of the pro-Beijing uh, uh, politicians in Hong Kong on the ground. All right. And as you also mentioned, these sanctions are the latest in a string of actions that President Donald Trump has taken against China in his final weeks in office. How do you assess that? Well, um, actually, uh, like, I, I, I mean, uh, this, the timing like, of this sanction is uh, pretty um, like, interesting for many. As uh, we know that last week, um, over 50 Hong Kong pro-democracy figures were arrested for their participation in a democratic primary last year. And also, um, this comes with like, uh, just the tiny days from this statement and also from Pale's term. Um, so uh, many analysts see this is like another move in a series of like um, actions for the um, Trump administration trying to set a hard uh, for the next administration uh, dealing the uh, relationship with China. 
All right, Phoebe Kong, thank you so much for joining us with all those details. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.